Okay, good. Welcome back again, Tian Yihu, and we are um, talking or going through the IESBE program as a building performance assessment program. Um, up to now, we've, we've, we've generated geometry for the project. Um, it's simple, can be more complex if you want to. You're welcome to do that. And we've also been able to locate the project in the context we're working and then attached a um, climate um, or weather file to it. Um, I would just like to show you one last aspect that you can use in the model it um, platform or, or, or component of the program, and that's the, the viewport in the end, the model viewer. If you click on it, um, you will see it's, it's not great. I mean, you, in, in Revit, obviously, you've got a lot better ways to define it. But what I like about this is um, the fact that it does give you a chance to just have a look at the project. So, okay, well, I can see at least what's going on, and I can toggle around it so I can look for problems or, or, or concerns that I can't find. And you'll see that there's a number of views you can have. You can, you, you can, you can view it from a person's view, um, a bird's eye view, for instance, or rotate it. And there's also a view that you can um, use to follow the, 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 the sun path itself um, in the end. Um, Again, I, I don't, um, yeah, it's, it's useful. You can go and um, change the, the light quality, change the, 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 the quality of the sky. It's, uh, yeah, it's limited. But it, what it gives you is, at least is um, a good place where you can just, typically when, you, when you're doing a building assessment and you're not, you, you, you don't have the Revit model available. You can simply use that to generate a few images. I simply then use this and um, screen grab just an image from this. Um, but again, you can, you, you, you can save an image from this and so forth. What I find helpful is that I can actually switch on the, the um, shadows that we use and then also, in the end, the solar path. That's now specific to the context we're working with. And this is, I think, a nice way to, to change, well, the months, the dates, and the time. But this gives us a good understanding of where we're, you know, you know what, what, what the sun is doing at that point. And this is accurate. You know, this is, I think, what, what, what's, what's really important is that this is, I'm, Revit also has it, um, if you've located it correctly. Um, but if you haven't, then you, you're not quite sure whether what you're getting is actually accurate. Where you, because you've located this correctly, this is actually what is happening in the in, in the Tuane condition in the in, in the end. So you can switch it off. You can see that you can change the size of it, and you can also change the the, the solstices and so forth. Um, <clears throat> if you added a shading device, then you can also um, add that in the end. Um, or, or, or if there's adjacent buildings that, 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 that are overshadowing the building, you'll be able to see that as well um, quite accurately. Um, again, it's, it's, it's still possible to do that in, um, in Revit. And um, yeah, it's um, as long as the only thing to remember if you're using Revit on SketchUp, you must be sure that you've located your project. Um, because otherwise, obviously, your, 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 your sun path is completely inaccurate which doesn't quite help the analysis part of it. Okay, good. So this is the model viewer. We will then um, close it back up here, and we're now in the in the model space again. And the next video, we're going to use Suncast as a tool to start um, analyzing the exposure that, we, that the different um, spaces have, or the envelope has to the, sun, to the sun. And this is really critical for us to undertake our, our basic thermal analyses of a project. Um, but it's also, I think, quite helpful to also explore the, 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 the envelope components that are most exposed to um, the solar conditions. But that will be in the next video. So um, see you in the next video. Thank you.